Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Uh, last time I uploaded a video about volume control and uh, yeah. And I received a comment. I was asked if we can implement a slider to change the volume. Yes, we can. So I decided to make this extra video. And uh, fortunately, Java has a convenient class for that, and it is called J Slider. Uh, slider. Do it. Slider. Okay, we're gonna instantiate it here. Slider equal new J Slider. Uh, window dot dot. Slider. Okay. Yep. So yeah, it looks like this slider. So we're gonna add change listener to this slider. So slider dot add change listener new change listener. import and uh, unimplemented method so it's gonna automatically implement this uh, state changed method so if you add this change listener to this slider then uh, uh, it detects whenever you change the slider so now we want to apply the slide slider value to the current volume so uh, sound dot current volume equal slider dot get value so you can get the slider value by typing this method get value and then uh, we're gonna apply this volume on this uh, float control set value dot current volume uh, float control is this one so we create it inside of this sound class and uh, okay ah, and also we need to set the uh, minimum value and also maximum value because like we did last time this float controls maximum value is 6 and the minimum value is minus 80 so we need to apply this you know volume range to this slider too and you can set the minimum and the maximum value by typing number here inside of this constructor first minimum value so minus 80 and maximum 6 okay let's check it mm, okay mm. okay i think so the slider is working but uh, I think we can make this better and uh, uh, what I don't like is you know um, let me uh, type something here uh, volume sound current volume what, what is this okay so what I don't like is okay so maximum this is maximum so volume 6 now and uh, if you go down you know like at minus 30 or 40 you can barely hear the audio so you know around here 
you you really don't hear anything. As a slider, this is not how to say so this is not so good. What I wanna do is you know we just cut minus forty to minus eighty. So basically like a minus forty is the minimum number. So we're gonna change this minimum value to minus forty. So if sound dot current volume equal minus forty then uh, current volume equal eighty. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now maximum is six and uh, minimum is what happened? Uh, because it's value 80, x is a low for maximum value. What? Oh, minus 80, sorry. So anyway, so max is 6 and uh, minimum is minus 40. So minimum is minus 40 and maximum is 6. So how to say, the center is uh, minus 17 I think minus minus 17 is the center so last time we uh, set this current volume 0 but we're gonna change this and uh, also since we don't use this volume up and the volume down anymore so uh, let's change them to play button and stop button so we can create a, like a simple music player play so this is gonna call display music method so play music and uh, pass URL, sound URL, I think. No? Ah, okay. It's a local variable, so let's change this to. Yeah. So move this here and. Uh, So now we can access from here. Yeah. And this is stop bottom. Stop. Stop. And this time we're gonna call stop, I think. No. Wait. Stop. Oh, and uh, also, I made a little mistake last time, so we don't need to pass this URL. I don't know why I did that, but uh, you know, we are not using this URL inside of this loop and stop, so we don't need to pass this URL. That's <laughs> that was my silly mistake. I really don't know why I did that. So delete this and what play. Oh yeah, play two. And so, it has gone, so yeah. Stop, and the mute is mute. Right now, music automa automatically starts, but uh, let's stop it. So, what is this, this one. All right, play. Stop. Okay, and now mute. And uh, if you know, if you press this mute button, then uh, I want this slider goes to the left like this. And if you press this mute again, then uh, it uh, it goes back to the previous position. So we're gonna implement that. So first, so inside of this mute mute buttons action performed, I gonna pass slider and uh, but 
it. Um, so we haven't instantiated this slider class at this point, so I think I'm gonna move this slider before this mute button. And okay, let's go to this sound class and mute. We receive J slider slider. Slider dot set value. And uh, we're gonna set the minimum value, so slider dot uh, get minimum. And uh, when we disable this mute status, then uh, slider dot set value and uh, current volume. Okay, I think. Yeah, this is float, but uh, this set value accepts integer, so let's cast it. Mm, okay. We also need to set volume here to uh, current volume. Okay, so let's play. So you can control this slider by pressing, you know, left and right key too. Yeah, uh, volume goes down. Goes up. Okay, let's mute. Mute. Disable mute. Okay, yeah, I guess this is it. So yeah, this is how you implement slider and use it as a, like a volume controller. So I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching and see you again, bye.